Hello MacWarriors, how's it going? And welcome to another episode of MacWarrior Online, where we are playing the Kodiak today. We are still in the patch where the Gauss got buffed and the PPC got buffed, or buffed, nerfed, birthed, whatever it is. And uh, today I wanted to check out how the Gauss rifles feel. It is all pre-rollback. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to take the Kodiak, because the higher cooldown of the Gauss rifles doesn't matter too much when you have enough Gauss rifles to fire. So we're going to take four of them today, we have a high mounted, we can peek very nicely with this mech, and... So, uh, since our Gauss rifles deal more damage now, I think it's also a bit more ammo efficient, which is quite good. So in order to deal more damage, you need less ammunition. And of course, the DPS is kind of lower now. However, who cares about low DPS when you are getting into games where you can just uh, peek and stand where you are and wait for the enemies to show up, uh, come out of cover, shoot the enemies and then fall back. A very quick side note here, guys. The Kodiak is a very, very sluggish mech. It is big, it is an obvious target and it has no mobility at all. You might as well play tower defense with that thing and this is where the mech really uh, no, shines it doesn't shine anymore no i'm not gonna say that the kodiak shines it's not good but i just wanted to see what i can do with it and i could I'll do a lot but mm, anyway that's besides the point the build here uh, again as you can see is built around four gauss rifles we have two on each side so also we have a standard engine 300 standard here because we need all the slots on the side forces obviously the rest is ammunition and we don't need to care about heat management because gauss rifles only generate one heat or oh, 1.2 now because the nerf Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, the Gauss Rifles now, however, deal 17 damage, and that's 34 if you fire them in pairs. And if you take a look at our head armor, we have a maximum of 19 armor and 19 structure here. And that's with everything maxed out. And that is then uh, a number of 38. If you don't have that, I think it's down to 35. So as soon as s somebody dropped head armor down, you can instantly breach the cockpit with a double Gauss shot. Easily. And that's... That's good. So if you get, uh, if you have a good aim or if you're getting lucky, then you can go for headshots with the build. Other than that, it's a long range build that just punches big holes into the enemy's armor with a very, very big cooldown. In order to bypass that a little bit, we are trying to get as much cooldown nodes as possible here. And we also take magazine capacity for longer games so that we are not running out of ammo. You don't ever, ever need any heat gen nodes. Sadly, we have to sometimes take them in order to get to the good nodes that we want. So it's kind of a waste, but... I guess that's what it is right now. We also take maximum survivability because, again, we cannot really fight ourselves out of a position when we are getting pushed because low cooldown and low mobility. So therefore, we're going to kind of mitigate it a bit with extra armor. Also, it's very important uh, to kind of keep your armor because as soon as your side torsos are open, your Gauss rifles will just instantly explode the next time they're getting shot and then you have a big, big hole in your mech. We also take a rated deprivation. We take a sensor, a seismic sensor today because I want to see if there are any enemies coming around um, and I can see them on the minimap even if they are in cover. And uh, on top of that, we're going to take a good chunk of sensor range so I can actually target my enemies. Even if I don't see them correctly, then I have this nice red ball around them and I just aim at the center of this uh, rectangle in order to hit them. And since we also don't need any extra cooling, we are going for a UAV and artillery strike build today. And I just realized that I forgot the second artillery strike, which doesn't matter. So it really doesn't. That is the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. And as always, if you have that, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alright, first game of the day. We are playing the Polar Highlands and we are playing Skirmish. So let's push over to the center of the map and see if we can find some enemies. We have 96 shots, so we gotta be somewhat careful with our engagement. However, we have a pretty long cooldown now, which means that uh, we're gonna make every shot count and we're gonna be engaged as often as possible. So this is kind of like the tension field that we are working in right now. And uh, therefore, I think we can start shooting at a thousand meters and uh, we still deal half damage, which is... Uh, good enough for us so let's check it out we are also pretty slow which means uh, we always have to take a keen look at the minimap to see where my team is going if i'm falling behind and uh, if i'm too focused on the front line uh, and on what's in front of my reticle then i'm gonna have a problem at some point because enemies might just rotate into us and then we are dead because we have no dps at all there's nothing however we got some good pinpoint and therefore we're gonna try to get somewhere just somewhere where we can find enemies but we need information before we do that we need to know where our enemies are all right so there is an affirmative right that's uh, not really helpful but thank you for that affirmation especially positive one is good so let's see uh, we're gonna we're gonna watch over here to the India 8, uh, India 9 position because that's where enemies usually are Juliet 9, India 9, something like that and uh, wanna go J6 no 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 
no, I don't want to go there. I know people like that because uh, there's this cover there, but uh, it's a very weird spot to fight in because the team will just completely scatter and um, you... I don't know how to say it, but um, it kind of gives you the illusion that you are safe down there. And then when you're getting pushed uh, and enemies are rushing in, you can take uh, enemies out uh, or max out one by one because they are so scattered in that city and the engagement will happen one by ten or so. Alrighty, so our Hellbringer is getting shot. Where from? Where from? There's a guy. Ooh, all the way to the left. Sure. Hit him. Ow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so we know where they are now. So they're all there on the left side. Let's see. That's a guy. Also, I gotta hit my stuff. And again, it's a thousand meters is where I want to be right now. Oh, the cooldown. Oh, I could have shot that little guy before. What? Wait, what? Wasn't coming out? All right. So no girls for me here, sadly. Um, and we're gonna stay in the rotation, I guess. And that's a double hit. I like it. And I'm actually getting shot in return. So I should take cover after every single shot. I should really do that. Wait. What? So that's super weird. Because of the long cooldown, I'm, my, my, my pattern is completely messed up here. My shooting pattern. Also, mobility now. Okay, guys, 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 guys. That is not good. If you rotate too much, um, enemies are already in golf 6. They will be in our backs in no time. So don't rotate too hard. That's important. Please engage the enemies that are in front of us instead of running away. Because it also forces me to move and I cannot shoot when I'm moving. So, uh, not... Yeah, not cool. I don't like it. Anyway, uh, here we go. Charge it up. Nothing there. Sweeping the horizon, but there's also nobody... Nobody up there. Oh, there we go. Uh, also, not quite. I, I like that we cut across here, by the way. This is beautiful. This is uh, not, not like the full Nazca. We're actually cutting it short by going straight towards them. And now we're on top of them and force them into rotation. And um, that is good. That's really, really helpful. So now we only need to fire our weapons. So here we go. Up. All right, got it. Oh, oh, that's bad. Oh yeah, I cannot fire again. The long cooldown. Forgot about it. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of weird. I have that muscle memory where I'm like, yeah, I should be able to fire again. I couldn't though. Oh boy, that's what I mean. Come on, left side. Hit him. All right, guys, build firing line left side, Hotel Seven. There are a lot of people coming in. Just build it here, and we can deal with them one by one. They're rotating into us now, and that's good. All right, let's go. Got him. Got him. Perfect. Artillery strike is out as well. Get the Marauder 2 first. Come on, Gauss Rifle, you want to... What? Again? Kind of weird. And we will pull back. I can take a bit of damage, but not all of it. Ah, that's a miss. Damn it. The moment I shot, I was like, nah, not good. But we hit the Dire Wolf at the very least. Good. Hold the firing line and we win this game. Got him. Nice. Uh, I will probably take a bit of damage here. Not really willingly, but I think I have to. Like them. Okay. He's dead. Beautiful, guys. Keep it up. We are winning this still. Doesn't seem like it, but we will. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, the missiles. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> yeah, I'm forced back now. So, again, we have so much damage on the enemies. Now we just need to finish them off. Is that an enemy? It's not. Okay, there's an archer. God, the missiles! Stop it! Please! Let's go. Light mech here. That's bad. Oh, God. That was such a whiff. Let's, let's keep moving, guys. People are rotating, so again, gotta take a look at the minimap and adjust accordingly. I cannot just stick to one position, especially not in my condition that I'm in right now anymore. Uh, nothing here. Actually, that archer. Got him. Mm-hmm. Again, absorbing a bit, and this is where we're gonna lose the Gauss rifle, right? So I have to use my back armor. It's not great, man. This is bad. Oh, wait. Enemies behind us? What the hell? Yeah, there's one guy in golf aid and he is spotting like a boss like a bows so we have to deal with him at some point uh, or just go for those guys atms oh that's scary all right so we have to peek once more uh-huh actually do we have to yeah i think i'm gonna do it let's get the nova cat because that guy is scary as hell wait for it cool down marauder two marauder two down nice that's a kill seven and eight Let's go for... Couldn't hit him. 
Come on, come on, come on. Gauss rifle, please do your thing. I need you now, my friend. Got that hit. He's not dead, though. Oh, shit. <laughs> Am I losing the guard? Oh, two Gauss explosions now. Nope. We still have two. Oh, no. That Hellbringer is one shot. And I have no cooldown. Come on, cooldown. Do your thing. Oh, no. Just when I was about to. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, we are still in the fight. <laughs> uh, I have no weapons anymore. I'm gonna use me as a tank. Come on. Get that Irby. Do it now. Please. That was one shot that I could have gotten. We dealt 1,300 damage, by the way. Just want to point that out. Uh, that one shot, I hope it was worth it. We have 10 and 10. What a crazy game. Today's 20, Irby. <gasps> okay. Get the 20 off, and then he's disarmed. Oh, man, literally. That piranha can actually get it That's done. That's a streak, Marauder 2, fresh. <gasps> How? How? Oh, my freaking God. Why? That is... He was disconnected early on? Or no? Wow. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> okay. Hey, shut down. Uh, if you shut down, he cannot target you. Shut down, shut down. <laughs> he cannot target you with streaks. If you shut down, buddy, you can just drag it out if you want. Oh, man. He was disconnected or whatever. AFK. No idea. That was a very good game. That was so close. 11-12. We dealt lots of damage. And we also soaked up some. Holy crap. 6 KMDDs with 1 kill, 10 assists. We get 1,300 damage out. 800 taken and 3 components destroyed. That was the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alrighty. Second game of the day. We are playing the Hibernal Rift. And we are playing a soul. So let's get up here, guys. So, yeah, Kodiak and the Daily Dose, that's right. Affirmative. Let's uh, let's try to actually stay away from the um, from the big fights and let's try to set up somewhere in the outskirts so we can fight our enemies at long range and use our, uh, our pinpoint damage and, um, you know, get things done here. At the same time, I want to go over to the, a little bit more to the right side. Enemies will be coming from this area in uh, no time, by the way. But there are also some people coming up from the right side, Charlie 4, and those guys are the bigger guys and those guys are easier to hit than the light makes on the left. So, here we go. We have that guy already in there. Yeah, charging up. Uh, too early. Let's go with that then. Double hit, and I love it. Oh, you also got Gauss. All right. Cool. You have more. I took way too much damage here. I took way more than I wanted to. Uh, no. Oh no. That that is that. We are dead. We are, we're just dead. This is a, a peeker that we cannot contest. No. My right side torso is about to pop, and as soon as we are open, our Gauss rifles will just explode, and that is. A problem. <laughs> no, we cannot really trade hits with those guys anymore, right? Can we? All right. So, uh, can we hold this? Uh, no, we are... Okay, never mind. We are not holding that anymore, right? We are NASCARing, huh? Okay. All right. Uh, funnily enough, we got a kill. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Whatever you do. I I'm with you guys. <laughs> I just need to wait for those guys to be engaged. I cannot peek out anymore. Ow. And that's my side open. That's what I was talking about. Ugh. I think I got an ammo explosion earlier, by the way. Uh, and that was the kill. That was a bit of a belated kill there. Why not? Right. Double hit there. I have to peek very, very carefully. When it makes sense. When it matters. Hey, we got a kill. I mean... Not gonna go in again. I mean, we have 5-1. 4-1. It's not bad. All right. Yeah, they left their assault. Um, yeah, it's fine. I think at this point, it's safe to say that we won the game. Let's farm him. Let's just go for them. Let's just kill them. They are super, 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 super focused on what's going on there in the center. And that's actually my benefit right now. So, well done, team. <laughs> Thank you for actually NASCARing. Uh, it's kind of weird to say because I was saying that is the, it's the wrong thing. It's the opposite of what I wanted to have. But and now... On the border now, it's, now it's just that. Um, sadly, we cannot get an, any angle anymore, so the question is, do I move or do I wait? I think I'm gonna... Ooh, nah, never mind. This Annihilator is going in, is pushing him down, there's no way I can contest that anymore. So at that point, I need to reposition. Do I? Not sure. No. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. There's shots coming. From where? Really? From that angle? Alright, we have a Rifleman in Bravo 3. Really? I mean, seriously? 
All right, I'm not really dealing damage to him because of, you know, maximum range and stuff, but still. It's kind of weird. Okay. The problem is, as soon as he gets a good shot on my side torso, my side torso will pop because of the Gauss explosion. Mm-hmm. Gotta go. I, I gotta go now. That Ice Ferret is gonna mess me up. Everybody's... Oh, that's interesting. Now, how did I get hit in the back? Seriously. Seriously, how the hell did I get hit in the back? I'm baffled. I'm, I'm really baffled here. So, okay, it's fair. Fine. I, 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 get, I get it. I take it. But what? Really? How? I, I don't accept it. It's, it's, it's okay that it happened because we're going to win the game, but what? Huh. Funny. Now, uh, the, the Rifleman 2C is still there, still, you know, peppering us with stuff. We have a Mad Cat as well, a Daka Mad Cat. So, uh, this is uh, the last two people that are still in the, in the outskirts. We're gonna try to get them real quick. My friends are. We have 44 shots left. Man, I wonder how much damage we actually dealt over the course of this game here. So, we used half of our ammunition. I, I hit a lot of shots, though, so I'm pretty happy with that. But at the same time, uh, we couldn't really unfold the full potential here. And that's the problem. So... <laughs> Man, I'm I'm just I'm just mad. I'm just mad that my my side also got blown up. Maybe I over twisted. I think the only reason that I got hit in the back that I can think of was the ice ferret getting getting me in the back while I was over twisting. But I I didn't think so. So it, it didn't feel like it, you know. Anyway, uh yeah, guys, let's kill the rifleman real quick. I mean, I cannot do anything against that guy anymore. So it's on you to finish it. We, however, got two killing blows. We. Dealt some damage, we suppressed our enemies, and uh, we took enemies out quite quickly, which then resulted in them collapsing also. So that is the benefit of here. It's a risky build, guys. Don't try it at home. We, however, dealt 735 damage. That's pretty respectable. We got two killing blows. We got three kill most damage dealt. 700 and... Uh, sorry, 673 damage uh, taken. And four components destroyed. That was your daily dose for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.